Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. Here we're playing something new called Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Just picked it up on the Steam Winter Sale, but let's not go too much into that. Just take a look here. I did also happen to get, as part of that sale, these additional DLC. I'm not sure what they do. I'm not sure what this game is about, but we're going to try it out. Now, a little bit of administrative stuff you might see down here the rumble step mix and a little little icon going crazy a little speaker icon going crazy that means that the music is playing but you can't hear it I have turned off the music for this playthrough because usually with these types of games the music has been royalty or it has some sort of royalty encumbrances on it and I don't want a copyright strike so with that out of the way we're not going to have music we will have these little sounds uh, let's see, video settings. I'm running 1080p. We've got some of the full full sets here. Uh, not doing floor reflections. I don't know what to do for the overall frames per second. We probably just saw a little bit of a blip on the screen because that changes up the video rendering a bit. So with that out of the way, let's start. I'm not sure how this whole thing goes. We're going to go to the showroom and we'll start the Bolt Reptilia. I don't know about this car. I don't know if these cars have any form of, of real life setup. We've got some frame rate drops at the moment and we're back up. All right, so what are we going to do here? Do What do we need? We're in the car showroom. Okay, and that. That shows us the, the engine. We can zoom in, kind of see what's going on. Radiator, engine, transmission, drive shaft. We got the fuel tank in the back, suspension system. It's got a dual, dual exhaust. It's pretty cool. What is V8? Yeah, it's V8. And front suspension system. So you can see that. That's pretty cool. And then let's explode it up. Can we? Can we get in there? I guess that just opens up the doors and the hood. Let's go back to showing the body. Turn off the explode. And there is the rust. Okay. What all do we need to do? We're probably getting a little bit of a frame rate drop. All right. So classic mode. We're going to start a new one. All right. This is probably where we need to be going. Now, my rough guess as to what we're going to be doing is we're going to be buying cars at an auction or a simulated auction and then working on them, getting them repaired and getting the body up and going and then selling them back to some form of a simulated market. Oh, got some sound coming in. Hopefully this is working. We've got the loading screen. Oh, my a short tutorial show you the basic mechanics of the game show you how to sort out your first few jobs okay so we're gonna have some jobs which is good and what we'll probably do for these jobs is run through I don't know how long they're gonna last but uh, we're gonna try and keep this between 10 and 15 minutes per episode and some of these jobs might take a little bit longer so let's let's skim on here click OK you hear the phone ringing? I do hear the phone ringing, and I can hear it rather loudly. You guys may not be hearing it rather loudly. Let's see, new customer, go to the desk and pick up the phone to check what needs to be done. Where is the desk? Okay, that looks like a desk. There's the phone. In this menu, you can view all your waiting orders. Some of them are locked because you need more XP to take them. Okay, so this is a progressive progressive type game so as you build skill you can get new stuff unlocked you can take it or if you don't like them past jobs without consequence new jobs will appear here every time that new customer calls you okay we're gonna take this one the Reno Piccolo just for the purpose of the tutorial and let's see what we need to do and a loading screen lots of loading screens here seems kinda odd for a more recent game all right, so we've got our car, and what what is the job? Okay, we got a camera, computer. Uh, 
we don't need to do that. We've got to figure out what the job is. Okay. And we'll examine that. In this mode, you can unmount parts from the car. Each part can only be accessed from a particular section. If you're looking in the wrong place, you won't be able to unmount. Always check if the part is accessible by moving... Ooh, a little spelling error. By moving the cursor over it. If a part is blocked by another part, it will glow red when you try to unmount it. Okay, so it will help us a little bit. And we've got a phone ringing. Let's see. Okay, well, it's going to stay on the phone. Let's open the repair order. That's on the zero key, or is that O? Let's see. Zero? Nope. O. Ah, here you can see the details of your order. If you don't like the job, aha. So when we look at the phone, this is where we can look to see if we actually want the job. If you don't like the job or cannot perform all the tasks, you can always end it. You will get a refund for the tasks you've already done, but you will miss the bonus for finishing. Okay. Okay, so as as the skill builds up, we're going to have to be looking around. We might get a repair order that says the car is making this noise and then we have to figure it out. All right. So that is useful. Find and fix all engine problems. The faulty parts are here. Cam gear, exhaust manifold, fuel rail, DL. Okay. And we got another job waiting. So let's see about this part. We're going to go into disassemble mode. We need the exhaust manifold. And what do we have to do there? Disassemble part, hold. OK. And that comes out. That comes out. And what, what is the overall condition here? We've got more jobs all piling up. This is great. Okay, so what are we supposed to do now? Oh, I see. We click. Click the nuts and bolts to get the thing off. Okay, item added to inventory. The exhaust manifold is now... Let's just go back and see. Exhaust manifold has some problems. So let's go back into here. And we have uh, m even more jobs piling up. And you have to keep clicking. Nice. This is a lot easier than working on one in real life, I'll tell you that. I happen to do my own oil changes. Uh, for the most part, this past one, we needed an oil can gasket uh, change out. It was faulty. The third one, the first couple times we tried to get it fixed, they didn't get it. So, I figure... Alright, so we're going to look at our inventory. We've got our inventory here. Yeah, so I, I had the dealer actually change out the uh, oil at that point. Exhaust manifold. So, this condition... What do we do? Uh, let's see. Are you sure you want to sell it? Apply? Yeah, so that means that we need to get a new a new one. So what do we do? Do we have, we have additional stuff here? Can we click on these? Uh, no. So we need to get we need to get a new exhaust manifold. I'm not quite sure how we do that. So let's let's look at the phone. I don't really need another order. I need Ah, part shop. Let's see. Engine and we'll go through and get an exhaust manifold. Is there some sort of search that we can do? Let's go to all and we'll type in manifold. How does that work? That does not look like an exhaust manifold. N no, 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 no. Let's look back here. That doesn't look like one. Let's see. Let's go back over here. I've already sold it. See, it's got to fit up with what's in the engine right there. And this is a lot of different, different parts here. 
And then, I wonder what examine mode is all about. See, we're just trying to figure out, in this mode, you can check if the part is broken or not. You can also use purchased tools to do this. Remember that not all of the parts can be checked this way. Another spelling error can be checked this way. Could be why it was on a, uh, a bit of a deal there. Most of them will require the use of an OBD scanner or driving the car through the test track or diagnostic path. Okay, well, we've got, we got the engine kind of pulled apart here. Let's see what else we can do. We don't... No, we don't want... I don't know. That just does not look like the right right exhaust pipe here. The Maluch Part Shop. I don't know what that's all about. So we're still trying, we're kind of figuring out how this whole thing works. Do we have any other parts around here? We're going to walk Delphi, and we can't click on any of this stuff. Uh, wrench? No. Right-clicking. Can we right-click on our thing here? No, we've got, we got this thing, the car lifter. Although now our car is taken apart, so we can't really move it anymore. How about here? Upgrades. Check this out. You'll get points for each 1,000 XP earned. You can spend on upgrades. Ah, fast unbolting. That would be useful. Fast assembly, disassembly. And eventually an OBD scanner. Uh, at the moment, I don't know if we need this. Repair tools level. Okay. And then let's see, how about over here? Can we click on this? Okay, same same deal. How about over here? Anything in in here? Can we open that door? We can't open that door. Welder, jack. That's a nice little setup. What you would kind of expect in a garage. How about over here? This is for tires, I bet. Do we can we actually use this for the tires? Nope. Nope. There's another toolbox. Same thing. Same thing. So we've got no upgrade points available, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. So all the toolboxes lead to the same interface. Okay. Now we still need a new exhaust manifold. Huh. So let's see what we can do over here. Yeah. Okay. So we got an exhaust manifold. Let's go back to our assembly mode and we're going to go with the two key two in this mode you can mount parts in their place a transparent part silhouette will appear when the part can be mounted okay so we're going to put that right there no suitable parts to assemble Let's look at our inventory. Let's open that up. Uh, no, we don't want to sell. We want to... No, we don't want to sell junk. We want to actually put it in here. Look at part and hold. Okay, so we don't have suitable parts for that. Well then, let's go to examine mode can be examined by taking off front exhaust section we still need our exhaust manifold which I can't seem to find we've got to find some way of getting out and buying the correct one so can we go upstairs let's see can you get up there no, you cannot get up there. How about, can we look at that? No. No. Uh, and anything else here? No. So the exhaust manifold right here is not what we want. We need some way. Let's go to the car parts shop. This might be what we need. Let's go to manifold. So I've spent money that I didn't really need. This is what we need right here. So there we go. We've got that in our inventory. Let's go away from the computer. Let's go to assemble mode here. And 
I should have it in in my inventory. No suitable parts to assemble. Let's go back to... We should have inventory. Let's go here. We've got an exhaust manifold I-4 turbo. And we're working on... You know, I'm spending money I don't need to be spending. Exhaust manifold, we've got how many different ones? So this is not the one we needed. We spent $90 so far that we didn't need to spend. Let's come here, let's get this one, and try. So our inventory is building up, and we don't really need to be spending that. Let's go into the symbol mode here. Condition, we're going to put that one on. And then you, I guess you have to go into a symbol mode like so. Click, 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 click. Click. That's interesting. So we definitely need fast assembly mode eventually. So we'll finish this job and then we'll see if we get enough points for an upgrade. And maybe do that because clicking these doesn't seem so fun. Of course, this is a lot easier than in real life. You have to be rummaging around trying to reach those. Item taken from inventory. So Let's see. Let's open up the repair order and see what we need to do. The cam gear. Okay. So let's take a look at our examine mode. And we need to get into the cam. And I know enough about car repair to be, or to know that I always get somebody else to do it for me, uh, except in the case of oil changes. But in this case, we have to fix it. So let's go back to disassembly mode. We need to get to the camshaft, which is on top. So we have to remove the engine head cover, which means we need to we need to remove the engine coils. And at least we don't have to make sure we're getting the correct firing order. Let's get the oil and then we'll get no no we don't want we don't want that we need to pull off that okay there we go we're pulling off the engine head cover oh we don't have to keep clicking you just hold down the left mouse button and all of those just magically go into your inventory that's now in there this is a camshaft. Let's see. What do we have to do? Oh, do we have to pull? So the cam gear, aha. So let's take a look at this one. The timing belt cover. We need to get the timing belt cover off. Okay, so something is in the way. What's in the way? The engine, no, water pump? Let's see, timing belt cover. And what's that down there at the bottom? Water pump is in the way. And in this case, the serpentine belt is now in the way. Let's turn the engine around. Let's see if we can get to that. This serpentine belt, we can remove belt tensioner aha there we go belt tensioner is off serpentine belt is off water pump is almost off so you can see at this point why some particular repairs take a little bit longer we can remove the what is it crankshaft pulley and now oh even more things to remove. Okay. Now, timing belt cover can come off. So when replacing the timing belt, this is why they say almost all the time when you're replacing your timing belt, replace your water pump. But at this point, at this point, I'm in the middle of a job, but our time has run out. So 
join me next time for the conclusion of this particular job and so far it's interesting and we'll see how far we can go with this we'll repair a few cars and see what kind of jobs we get to maybe get to some of the higher end ones where we have to try and figure out what the customer is saying because that's always fun we get that in real life and we're going to get that in this game so thank you so much for watching this installment of family friendly gaming with soap the great and i will see you next time bye bye Oh, 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 o